All right, this is Beyond the Blue RC1 here, and I got a, my Blade 200 QX that I have modified using the Raycon Heli upgrade frame kit. Pretty much do away with the entire plastic blade frame, and you've got a real nice carbon fiber, aluminum construction, carbon fiber plates, Delrin spacers and mounts, and a real solid machine. This is the actual, this is the, the racing 250RQX canopy, but it fits the uh, 200QX frame just fine. The racing QX frame, it has, uh, you can get aftermarket bigger motors for it, and it has bigger motor mounts, but I went with this for my for my needs. And I went with the racing, or not the racing, the red aluminum, anodized aluminum here. Looks real sharp. And I went with the brushed, just a brushed silver aluminum here for the nut and the prop nut on all four motors. So it's a real nice uh, frame, no complaints. I test flew it, flies great, love the way it feels. I, uh, you have this rubber band here. And actually what I found is, especially with the with the camera mounted, I needed to use a to get it in there. What I used is an actual made by Park Tools. It's just a for a bicycle. It's a tube just to get the uh, your, your tire on the on the rim there. It works great for. Show you here how you do it. Just remove the strap here. And then with the battery on there, especially with the camera, there's not a lot of room to stretch it over. So what I do is just grab it here and just pull it and then just get it started like so. Use my fingernail to kind of grab it and then just out and just pop it in and that works it's hard to show on camera here but it's a little awkward but that's ba the basic gist of how that works you just hook the or band lift it up and over especially with that camera on there, there's not a lot of room for your fingers so this is a real handy tool if you're like me and you're struggling with getting that battery in in there also, I put made it tighter fit my because I uh, put Velcro on the back of the battery because you got these screws here. The battery is rubbing on, and I just did not really in, like that rubbing on my battery there. And I don't think it would do anything, but better safe than sorry. So I put the Velcro on the back. That just makes it even more of a tighter fit. But with this tool, it's really easy to get the battery in and out. Especially in. Oh, it's not not that bad. But tip that I found useful for that. So that's my 200 QX with the upgraded Rackon Heli frame. Oh, almost forgot. I 
it's, it's a new addition on the Rackon Heli site. This is light bar back here. It gives you a little extra light in the back. And there's lots of different colors. I went with the red. I also chose to reroute the wires, the LEDs. On the stock frame, they have the red lights up front. And that's just disoriented for me. I'd rather have them in the back. So I've got the red in the back. And I actually ordered some blue LEDs. And I have those up front. As you can see, I have them sticking out of the legs right there. And I actually have them sticking out just a little bit and pointed down. That way, you can see the lights when the quad is facing you. When it's in basically eye level. Because when it if they're up in there and it's basically facing you like that you can't see the lights so I want to be able to see the lights especially at night when it's facing me so and they they stay there pretty good they don't really they don't move I did the same thing for the rear I got them pointed out just slightly and that really works great for visibility because like I said when they're up in there and the quad is just like this. You really can't see it. Now when it gets up over your head, you can see it fine. But I want to I want to be able to see it in all orientations, especially if I'm flying at night. So that should really help. And it's a really easy thing to do. It's really not hard. Just a matter of routing the wires. So and that's my two. 100QX this upgraded frame. The frame right now is on sale at the Rock on Heli site. It was for this full frame including the landing gear and the frame it was over 100 bucks. Right now it's on sale for $89.99 on the site which was a pretty good deal considering you're saving yourself 30 bucks. I think it was 120 about a year ago when it first came out so it's great. You can use the stock motors and pretty much all the stock electronics and it all fits in there. Now there is one little thing I had difficulty and that was getting the, there's a mount right here and you had to mount the ESC on this mount. You got these pegs that you have to screw this little screw into and there's really nothing to grip, so I had to take a pair of channel locks and grab a hold of that Delrin peg, just a little peg that goes through the, the two rubber grommets and then through the ESC and then, th then the, the screw goes through the plate. But I could get it started, but I couldn't get it tight. So I have these uh, Irwin channel lock pliers that I use and they work real well as far as gripping it. They worked as good as it could. I don't. I don't know how I would have done it without those channel lock pliers. Hmm. Something to think about there, Rack on Ellie. Anyway, I'm really happy with this frame. So this is Beyond the Blue RC1. I hope you enjoyed this video.